I need to make sure you guys understand that as much wealth that you can create using storage, if you do it smart, it's not passive income. I might get some kickback on this, but I will tell you guys, I don't believe in passive income. I, and I, I just, not only do I think it's not a good mindset to have, but I truly believe that it's a fallacy and it doesn't exist. Um, and savvy investors always kick back to me and say, well, what about triple net leases? I don't do anything. Well, unless you throw a dart at a dartboard to pick which triple net lease property to buy, then you did do something. Um, and if you don't reassess the performance and make sure that those triple net payments are coming in every month, you're also doing something. Now, it's a very good hourly wage, and, and, uh, but I think it's an important differentiation because it, it will keep your expectations where they should be. Investing in real estate, I'm sure a lot of you know, whether it's storage or anything else, you have to work up front without getting paid at all. Um, and uh, the people that are willing to do that to the greatest extent, I believe, make the most money in the end. Um, so take that for what it's worth. Um, storage is a business, it's not mailbox money. There are differences between running a storage facility and running um, rental real estate, like residential rental real estate or other commercial properties, and we'll talk about a lot of those. Some of those differences are benefits relative to storage and some of them are drawbacks.